friends welcome back to digitalk so as per the official public releases from the oracle that uh, oracle weblogic server 412 is going to be released in the calendar year of 2024 and it is coming with a lot of different features new features for the uh, enhancement of your application to increase the overall performance and optimization of your application okay so in this uh, video i am going to explain you about one of the major changes that is uh, coming in 1412 with respect to the threads okay how uh, the threads model has been changed in 412 that i am going to explain this is completely based on the public information that has been released by the oracle so far okay so let me take a tour on that one okay so now if i talk about the thread model what is the current thread model how your web logic utilize the threads till 1411 version which is the latest version of weblogic as of today in 2014 february 2014 march 2014 20 sorry 2024 okay and 1412 is about to release which is expected in 2024 okay so now when we talk about the current thread structure of how weblogic utilize the system threads okay so i will read this uh, content and then i will explain you so java has used operating system kernel threads as the underlying implementation of java platform threads okay so what it mean is that as of today your weblogic is completely depend on your operating system threads okay which is a part of your operating uh, system kernel okay so whatever the threads that has been created by your operating system your jvm or your weblogic server relies those operating system threads okay so because operating system kernel threads can consume a significant amount of system resources it can be challenging to meet high application throughput and concurrency requirement in java application so now when we talk about uh, the uh, operating system kernel threads okay so all of the threads that need the certain proportion of all of your resources in terms of the hardware resources whether it is a ram cpu core or whatever the system resources or os resources are required then each thread need such a resources okay and in your operating system apart from your jvm or web logic you will have a multiple processes are running right so utilization of the operating system threads create certain kind of a overhead okay and java applications may require in a single jvm 100 or 1000 of concurrent transactions user or sessions each of these transaction user or sessions can potentially require a java platform thread and then for a kernel thread so depend on the application the kind of application we are running the number of sessions we are expecting the number of concurrent sessions that are connecting to our jvm internal process server process operating system process so depend on the requirement okay there may be a, a significant requirement of the number of threads those required to process the request right and unfortunately the number of kernel thread that can be effective supported by operating system configurations may be smaller than what a java application requires when running under load providing a thread for every user transaction or session being serviced can lead to a performance bottleneck in java application so what happen is that each and every request required a single thread for the execution okay so multiple you will time you will see that if uh, when you specifically when you so uh, see the stuck thread problem so okay, so what happen in that case if one of the thread or, or your one of the operating system thread got stuck okay it's not able to process any request similarly if you will have a multiple stuck threads in your system or maybe you have multiple hogging threads in your system so all threads get blocked okay so if one physical thread is getting blocked that means it is uh, holding the lot of resources from your operating system and in parallel if I, if we are saying that multiple hogging threads or multiple stack threads are there okay, right so that means multiple physical threads are getting blocked and it can create a lot of kind of a performance problem in the system right because every thread is consuming certain kind of a resources from your operating system so this is a lot of you can say it is a lot of a kind of a overhead on your operating system as well as the thread model right now to overcome from this all of these limitations is to avoid this kind of a uh, direct to, to direct utilization of the operating system level threads okay now uh, in uh, 412 let me go to 412 okay now in 412 now the uh, oracle has come with with a java virtual threads okay so what java virtual virtual thread is it is completely and isolated from the operating system threads that means multiple virtual threads are getting getting created on top of your physical operating system threads 
okay so so far what we have talked about that there is a single transaction that need to be processed it will be assigned a single physical operating system thread to each and every request but when we talk about the virtual thread then a, a multiple virtual threads can be spanned from a single operating system thread right so that means virtual threads are a new concept first delivered through project loom so it since it has been in development in the oracle this is a public information that has been published by the oracle okay they have developed this virtual threads concept inside a project that is named under the loom okay and what is project loom it is an umbrella project intended to deliver java virtual vm features to support easy to use high throughput lightweight concurrency and new programming model on the java platform so that means java platform is your weblogic server and the way your weblogic server utilizes the threads of the operating system okay so under this project what they have done is that they have done a lot of research for the optimization of the java virtual machine so that your the end to end performance of your application can be increased okay and based on that they have identified this uh, model where uh, instead of using the physical thread from the operating system you can use the uh, virtual threads okay which will be run on top of your physical uh, operating system threads okay so by this you will uh, your application not really need to be go in a direct use of the uh, the thread of the operating system right so what happen currently is whenever there is a requirement of a thread by the weblogic server right it has to reach to the operating system to block or to uh, to reserve a thread right this also create a certain kind of a context or con, uh, problems performance problems okay because uh, it is in a kind of overhead where your weblogic server or your jvm every time reaching to your operating system to reserve a physical thread okay so with virtual thread this kind of a gap will also eliminate where your weblogic jvm will not need to reach to the operating system physical thread directly instead it will take the thread from the virtual thread okay which will be a ready to use kind of a thread okay so uh, every time your uh, uh, request will not go to reserve a thread from the operating system thread pool okay so virtual threads are managed by jvm and do not require an equivalent number of platform threads or operating system kernel threads that means virtual threads now going to be managed by your jvm okay so in the current model we can say that we have a dependency on the operating system threads but now going forward from 14.12 your virtual thread will be handled by the jvm okay that means your application or transaction request will not have any kind of a dependent dependency directly on the operating system threads okay so whenever require there is a thread requirement application will take it from the virtual thread which is part of now the jvm and as i said if suppose that you have a 40 threads at the os level okay so that means you can handle the 40 concurrent request as of now but in case of a virtual thread each virtual thread each physical thread may split into multiple virtual threads okay so if i am saying that we have a 40 physical thread as of now if with the virtual model each thread is corresponding to 10 virtual thread then you can multiply your 40 with the 10 and there would be a 400 threads now instead of the 40 threads you will have a 400 threads okay similarly in case of a 50 you will have a 500 number of virtual thread instead of 50 physical uh, operating system threads right so that means the complete end to end uh, performance uh, of the and the concurrency or of your applications are going to be increased with the help of virtual threads the allocation of virtual thread does not require a system call and does not require an operating system context switch so this i was talking about that every time uh, whenever an application need a thread right for the execution so for that it reached to the operating system okay with the help of some context switching okay so that will not be required in the virtual thread because it will be managed by the jvm and a large number of virtual thread can be scheduled by the jvm to execute on a smaller number of platform thread with only one virtual thread being executed at a time on a platform so this is what i was talking about a one physical operating system thread can be split into multiple virtual threads Right, this is going to increase your concurrency and the performance of your application. Use of virtual threads can be thereby pass bottlenecks in Java application that may be caused by reliance on a large number of platform threads. So, what is saying use of virtual thread can be thereby bypass bottlenecks in Java application that may be caused by reliance on large number of platform threads. Right. So that means whatever the li limitations we have discussed so far, okay. The 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 if you have a 
uh, 40 number of uh, concurrency uh, in your system as of now that means you have a certain kind of a bottleneck that you can execute the 40 number of concurrent requests right but with the virtual number where each parallel thread is going to be have a multiple virtual threads so this kind of a bottleneck will be going to be eliminated from the java applications right so this is how your uh, this java virtual thread model is completely different from the current model okay and this is the output that has been published by the uh, oracle okay the result but they have seen uh, in the throughput okay with, with, when they use the same 1412 version with the platform threads and again when they use 1412 using the virtual thread model okay and you can see from the screen that the kind of a significant imp improvements that what they have seen when they are when they use the weblogic server with the web virtual threads so when they use the platform threads with 412 okay in test 1 2 and 3 you can see the uh, the number of requests per second okay that means the throughput they were getting is uh, test 1 they get 211 in test 2 uh, they get 80 7 and test 3 they get 36.4 but when the same web logic 412 they utilize with the virtual threads okay then you can see the throughput the number of requests that is that is getting processed per second is is, is increased in a very tremendous way from 2112 1018 from 87 to 508 and from 36 to 485 okay now percentage gain if, if you will see it is 383 percent 483 percent 1 2 3 3 percent so now you can see that how the performance of your application is going to be increased and along with that it is going to save your cost as well right because currently uh, if you need the concurrency then for that concurrency we have to buy the uh, cpu sockets cpu cores threads right we have to buy everything but with this model you will going to save your cost as well because your each thread will now have the multiple jvm virtual threads so you don't need to increase the capacity of your uh, operating system right in terms of core and cpu and sockets it will be help you to save your cost as well along with that it is going to increase the performance of your application as well right now apart from that there are a lot of new features are coming to the weblogic 412 uh, apart from this virtual thread that there, uh, there, there will be a latest uh, java technology support right along with that you will getting you are getting a virtual thread right which is based on java standard 21 you will be going to get a new uh, jdbc driver versions for the optimization optimize integration with oracle database and oracle database cloud service uh, you are going to get integration with helium based microservices Right, so Helium based micro, so Helium is a cloud native open source set of Java, Java libraries that is used for writing the microservices. Okay, that run on a fast web core powered by Java virtual threads. Okay, and apart from that, you will get some new features for the coherence. You are going to get some update on the load balancer support in terms of performance, dynamic scaling, and high availability. Security and compliance enhance enhancement will also be there for the security regulations right which are coming day to by day by day and there you will be an improvement in the integration with the oracle cloud service infrastructure which is the oracle cloud service from the oracle right and then cloud native application uh, development and deployment also going to be there right and apart from that interoperability in hybrid cloud and multi-cloud environment is going to be there if you have a hybrid cloud where you have an on-premise application or maybe cloud application you need a certain kind of a integrations between them or maybe if you have a multiple cloud service providers and then you want an integration between the different applications running in the different cloud services so all of these features are going to be there so once it is there we are we will come with a new lecture okay and with new session with all of the features but for today what we we plan to we have a discussion on the virtual threads hope you have got uh, some good information on that thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for the next video